Hey everybody! Welcome to that one series where I play Dark Souls for like an hour on keyboard only on PC. Um, and try not to die. Yeah! Woo! This is, um, that's the best I can describe this series. Oh, it didn't level me up last time. That's interesting. Last time we leveled up like this. For whatever reason, it didn't accept it. But here we are! Leveled up in all our glory. Let's continue on as if, as if that had happened originally. And so we've killed the gargoyles. He's going to be nice to us now, I believe. I believe. Hi, bud. That I have requested that we retain our distance. Yes, you did. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh, buddy. Oh, my. You again. What's up? Oh, I know. How about this? I have to awake my oh, companions hey. here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no thank you for now. That is a shame. Each my shield is just going right through his body. You have a change of heart. Ah! I really like the world that is... Dark Souls. It's a very mysterious place. Fight me, bitch. Eh. Think you're so cool? Alright, so today we're going to be fighting, I'm pretty sure the entirety of today, we're going to be fighting the mini-boss that is downstairs here. But before I do that, I'm going to talk to the, uh, the knight who looks like he's an onion. Because, you know, I've got priorities. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to talk to knights dressed as motherfucking onions. What's this a gate? Buddy? Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. Sounds like it. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. No matter how long I wait. And oh, but I waited. So, here I sit. And quite... Oh, sorry. Go on, talk. Hmm. It's I, quite honestly. I've run flat up again. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. No matter how long I wait. And oh, but I waited. So, here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> that's, that's a laugh, bro. Still closed. Still closed. Mm. Still closed. Alright, so it looks like he's going to be sitting out at the gate until it opens. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the Onion Knight wants from me. But I don't think I need the Onion Knight to, uh, to do anything. I'm just really hoping that nobody invades my game. Safe. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that. I mean, if, if it starts becoming a problem in the late game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, hey bud. Uh, what I'm going to do.
Gotcha. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Fuck it. Let's fight this thing. Now, I don't know what the hell this is. It looks cool. Apparently, its mouth actually eats you if you, uh... Oh, shit. Its mouth will actually eat you if you, you know, get too close, as my brother tells me. But at the same time, I've never experienced it, so it, does, it doesn't exist. It never happens. Ha! So, when I was fighting this guy, I beat him using a short sword. Although, I was a much higher level. And I know this because my stamina was through the fucking roof. And twice as much stamina as I do now. Now, I believe on the console version, if you get too close, he just picks you up and eats you. This doesn't appear to be the case here. Oof. But, it took me a couple of days to kill this guy. Originally. By the looks of it though, we've got him down to a quarter health. I also didn't have good Estus flasks though. I didn't have my Estus plus one on me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, so... We've got him down to... Half health. Oh! 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 Aha! I'm still alive, bitch! Oh, what's that? Still trying to kill me. Cha! Uh-oh. So whoever designed this character did a fantastic job. I have just enough stamina to block the majority of his attacks. I have to say, once you learn the control scheme of this game, it's not the hardest. Wow, I... I overestimated this guy, but... Oh! Ow! Ow! You ass! Fuck are you doing? You can't just hit me like that. Do you know who I am? I'm some guy who's not even famous. He's walking around acting like he's famous. Like you don't even know me. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. Ooh, a demon titanite. That's, uh, it's impressive. Well, uh... Hey, bud. So I'm going to reinforce a weapon now. Oh, that's right, I can't yet. I'm going to purchase an item now. I'm going to get two of them. So I can reinforce this weapon here. Right, now my, my long sword is at maximum, uh capacity if you will I'm gonna also reinforce my armor specifically speaking because every single time that you reinforce it it makes it just a wee bit better I'm gonna make sure that my my main armor there is a little better than what it was before I won't die don't worry Now we're going to go into the forest. Dark root forest. Woo! 
Uh, this is an interesting place. I'll give it that. I like the character design, Dark Root. Um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about it, though, is that I like the character design. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. I don't know about you, but this looks like a place for a wonderful vacation for me. Living plants, gloomy canyon walls, a title card. Like this is my life. This should be this should be where I live. Not the fucking middle of the desert where I live currently. A blood red moss clump. Gotta say, that is one bloody red moss clump. Woo! Alright, so I'm only gonna single him out because I don't want to fight two of them at once. See, if you don't know me, I am terrible at prioritizing when there's more than one enemy. When there's more than one enemy, my goal is to bum rush one so I can get him out of the way and then kill the other one. Anyway, there's no more on this path, I don't think. The large soul of an aimless soldier. Poor soldier! Now that right there, oof, I need, I just need 20,000 souls to get in there. What's this say? Try a tight spot. Because there's a bonfire right there. <laughs> Asshole. There we go. level up. No, I can't level up. I'm only kidding. Um, moving through here with the short sword is impossible. Don't do it. Do you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to run back and buy a bow and arrow. Because I forgot. I'm going to be fighting the Moonlight Butterfly boss. If I can. Eh. Eh. What? Hey, hey, you know, I'm okay with the jump. I think it's cool and all. I just don't know where it came from. It is much too hot for a long sleeve shirt. What I why am I wearing a long sleeve shirt? <sighs> All right. So we're going to go back over to the undead berg. And we're going to buy ourselves a bow and arrow. Uh-oh. Well, that's not going to help me. I'm going to change that probably to caps lock. 
because shift tab as we all know opens up our steam I thought that was pretty cool. Jeez. Well, at least I can go grab stuff. Six homeward bones. Talismans and a morning star. And a cracked eye orb. I don't know what these things do. I think this has Lloyd's talisman. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not going down here yet. I am instead going to run away. Well, actually, I'm going to kill these guys. The amount of fight that they can endure... Endure... However the fuck you say it. Is definitely not worth the amount of trouble they are. What was making that noise? Oh, actually, I just realized something. There's a thing right here. A soul of the lost undead, which will give me souls when I need them. For things like purchases! That's about it. We never thoroughly looted this area when we arrived so now is as good a time as any Let's rest at that bonfire and let's get going. <clears throat> oh boy, that thing. <clears throat> you can actually jump down there, can't you? Yeah, you can, but... Imminent hidden path. Amazing treasure ahead. <laughs> People are trying to get people to kill themselves. Oh, it's terrible. Ow.
So if you do a lot of damage on an enemy, it gives you a bonus uh, in the amount of souls that you get. And you can tell if you got that bonus by hearing uh, the elongated soul capture. See, you can get up there. I. Ah! Tears ahead. Just let me upstairs. Come on. I've been trying. I really have, boss. No, every time it just doesn't let me. It keeps giving me short swords and hollow armor and starts chucking bodies around and doing barrel rolls. Never. Oh, wait, I don't know how to do this. I can take off my guy's armor and he'll run faster. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. How do you get down there? Gorgeous view. Gorgeous view of a place you can actually go. Uh, I just don't know how to get there. Alright, let me see here. Um, we are going to remove everything all right we are going commando folks man do I look good or what huh. nope but we're getting there again Let's see if we can just get on top of that little beam to see what that says maybe somebody's trying to give you a tip Fun. I'm not having fun, Dark Souls. I seriously do think there's an invisible wall there. It confuses me as to how the hell you get up there. Be wary of skeleton. I am a skeleton. Do you not see these bones? Oh, come on. That should have made it. Alright, no, I don't think it's working. Um, I 
<gasps> Are we sure? Somebody is up there. <laughs> Alright. So for now, the uh, the hollow soldier shield is going to provide me a little more protection. So that's what we're going to use until um, until we repair it. Our night shield. Oh boy, spear. You're gonna give me battle axe, aren't you? Give me the oh a helmet. Uh let's purchase an item. Using a short bow. I'll take it, man. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Alrighty, Daddy. Now let's make our way back to the Firelink Shrine, but first, we have to do it. I got hurt. The pain. That was nice. You're alive again? I don't understand how I killed you. Okay, everything is alive again. I didn't rest at a bonfire, but nonetheless, it's all back. I mean, I'm okay with this. I'm just disappointed. Actually, I'm not disappointed. I kind of want the souls. I need all the souls. Yeah. For leveling up and stuff. Oh, that thing barely does me any good anyway. Wow. Or I should probably repair my armor too.
Access my bottomless box. I don't really need to access it, do I? I just store my humanities in here, really. How much time do we got left? 28 minutes. Awesome. I'm gonna go eat. I'm hungry. I want food! That's, um, that is, that's, uh, the musical form of, of hitting anvils. Striking anvils in the musical. I know I don't sound too excited, it's, I've heard it before. Alright, let's get back through here. It is nice to finally have a bit of a scenery change going from the from the city over to the plant infested uh, plantery. Though this is a little gloomy, it is nice, you know, to have an entirely different scene change. Makes our experience unique. One might even call it Aniqua, which is how the Native Americans used to say it. That's not how the Native Americans used to say it. I'm just pulling stuff out of my ass. Alright, so we've got one more batch of enemies. Yeah, we got one more batch of enemies I'll fight, and then we can go to our... A bonfire. I've got the flasks. I've got the power. I can do this. He was fighting somebody. Normally these guys just pop up, but because I haven't picked up the one thing in the middle, they're not going to do it. Come on, actually stab him. Now we don't need to fight him. Fuck it, let's grab it. I'm just not, I'm not good at my job today.
My job is to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of ass. Which sucks. Alright, so we've got a few... Um, souls that we can barter with for more power. Uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to just crush some hopes and dreams. Those aren't really doing much for us anymore. But they are free souls. These are where the money's at right now. Uh, 4,900. Alrighty. Let's go get 4,900 souls. Ow. Why, what long arms you have! Alright, let's kill one over there and then we can go ahead, go back to the bonfire. Reestablish dominance over the region! Just as the Romans would have done. You know, Dark Souls stuff. Ooh! Let's not commit suicide. Even though we hate our jobs. Aha! Here. There's nothing here, you asshole. We're going to increase our health, and then we're going to fight a boss. Well, actually, no, we're not going to fight a boss. We might not get to that today. Easy stuff. Yeah, just don't attack them with the short sword. You will regret it. Be wary of sorcery. Oh, a little bit. Nothing too tricky. This guy right here. This is where the souls are at. Ha! Ouch! Douche nugget! No, I'm not gonna go that way just yet. Though that is a nice looking tree. It appears to be the only tree that's moving. <laughs> uh, that makes me happy.
Ah, yeah. That's a good, that's a good note. There's a few of these guys over here that I'll be fighting. Ah! Enemy ahead, sort of. Can't really kill them, though. Ouch. Oh, jeez. Can you kill them? You can, it looks like. Oh, but they only give you 60? The fuck is this? Right, at least you gotta play around with his necks. Wee! You're coming with me, buddy. Wait, was there something behind the tree? No, it's just my shiny ass head. If I run around him, I'll be just fine. This one, I have to do incredibly quickly. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. He's big. He's beautiful. He's a little bit ugly. Ah, oh, shit. Try to dodge. Forgot you can't do that. So I've got a couple of prizes to pick up. I got you first. Giving me practically nothing. And that's nice. Oh. oh, Jesus. I had no idea you were there. Alright, well, it looks like there's another one we're going to fight.
Nope, nope. Eh. Come on, I was going 10 miles an hour and I still outflanked you. That's a gesture. I have a tendency to do that. I get excited and instead of hitting H, I hit G. H, by the way, is my my quick attack um, value. Come here. Aha! Gotcha. Oh. Got you again. This is a rather boring episode, isn't it? Not much to do. No, sir. Saint ahead. Try humanity. I don't need a humanity to fight a fucking butterfly. What do I look like? A human? Things not scary at all. I fought bigger butterflies with my dick. I have not fought bigger butterflies at all, actually. It was just, just me saying stuff is all. And I'm just going to do a practice switch. Perfect. And try projectile. Thank you. That's exactly what I'm doing. First time I went through, I did not try projectiles at all. Okay, that was my fault, but I'll do better next time. Oh no. Last time I fought this one, I did have a lot more st Oh no, no, no! I had a lot more stamina. But I had less Estus Flasks. Mm -mm. Drink up, buddy. I feel bad fighting this boss. I feel like I'm just encroaching on its territory. I'm a douchebag. Still got me. How does that work again? How do I dodge it? Oh, it's trying to... It's trying to slow me down. It's trying to fool me. Mm-mm. Ouch. 
Look, man, I don't want to hurt you, but you're hurting me. And that's the whole reason why I'm doing this. Even though, yes, I was the first one to hurt you. But now you're just kicking my ass. Oh, God. Uh-uh. No. No. I almost ran directly into that. Hey, do you want to land again so I can actually... What the fuck? So I can actually have a chance at killing you? Oh, thank you. You know what? This is the kindest boss I have ever fought in my entire life. I'm going to say it right now. I would let this boss babysit my kids. I mean, assuming it doesn't get all murderous on me. Or, you know, whatever child I have. Mm-mm. I'm not going to deal with that one. Oh, God. Oh, God! Ouch! Hey, meanie. You can stop now. Well, I'm going to die. Yep. Woo! I thought I could get it done in one go, but those last three times or so was kind of they were kind of cheap. I've got 7 minutes left, so I don't be I don't think I'm going to be able to challenge him again. Fuck, but I need my souls. Okay. Well. Um I'm actually going to cut this episode out early. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. This was um this is that one series that I play in Dark Souls where I spend about an hour-ish playing the game. And I'll see you all next time.